Welcome, everybody, to the World Hockey Championship. Košice, one of the locations, 150 kilometers outside of Bratislava, also a host city. And uh, there is Captain Canada, Rick Nash, getting ready for Belarus. Game one, the mission is gold for Team Canada. Kovirshin tries to get it up the boards. Evander Kane can't keep it in, and Belarus is out to center ice. Pavlovich lost it to Kane. Kane getting in there, centers it, and they score! Jordan Eberle opens the tournament for Canada, and it's 1-0. Exactly the start that Canada wanted, creating turnovers, counter opportunities, then using their speed to exploit the chances. Evander Kane, that tremendous stride, taking the puck wide. Challenging the Belarusian defender, gets his leg out there, throws it back in front, and Jordan Everly just beats, draws to the spot, little poke on it, slips it five hole on Andre Mezin. That's exactly how Jordan Everly beats you, though, just in the right spot at the right time. He's got that knack and intuition to create offense. This is Everly's second world championship. He was in the lineup a year ago in Germany, and he really entered the tournament with a bang. Apparently he's hoping to have a first game like he had last year when he had four points in his opening game. He's off to a good start with a goal in the first two minutes. He had a goal. Well, let's go. Kostuchinok holds the line. His shot off of the end boards. And the penalty is over. Skinner's out of the box. Team's back at even strength as Belarus comes very close. Luke Shen whips on a pass, turns it over. Here's Belarus centering pass. Step it up. Scores. And Belarus has tied the game from a turnover by Luke Shen in his own zone. Canadians were scrambling as Mark Mathot was stuck without a stick at the tail end of the penalty kill. And Andre Stepanov takes advantage and gets Belarus right back in the game. Luke Shen finally gets the puck on his stick, five on five. He turns it over. Mathot does a good job laying out here because he has no stick to play with. And then it's the scramble is on as. Skinner coming out of the box and Ladd cannot get back down in front of the net in time to recover. And a nice little pass from Kulikov in tight to the back door. No chance for James Reimer. It's really the recognition of Luke Chen to know this teammate doesn't have a stick. You have to make a strong play up the boards. Andre Stepanovich in his first world championship, in fact, playing on Tavares. There's Petrangelo. The defenseman up in the play against Denisov. Denisov, who's being leaned on there by Deveris. He comes away with a puck. Here he is again. Down low. Skinner scores! <laughs> a beauty! Jeff Skinner tucks it upstairs to make it 2-1 Canada. Well, you want to create offensive team. You win a battle on the board. You take the puck to the net. And that's exactly what John Tavares and Jeff Skinner did along with Rick Nash here. And Jeff Skinner with those sweet hands gets it upstairs off the bar. As John Tavares wins a battle on the puck, seals off his defender, kicks it free, steps free, could shoot this, but gets it to a guy with two hands on a stick. And Jeff Skinner gets it right upstairs, off the post and off the crossbar. The only place he could put it over Andre Mezin. What a finish by Jeff Skinner. Jeff Skinner's first goal playing for Canada. 18 years of age. Throws a body check himself, but this is Nikolai Stasenko up the boards and inside the Canadian blue line for Petrangelo from King City, Ontario. Here's Tavares. He winds, pulls it back, shoots, scores! John Tavares picks the top corner from a sharp angle, and it's 3-1 Canada. Johnny Tavares has been dangerous the entire game, and he gets a chance off a transition play. Jeff Skinner finds him on a rush, and little pump fake just freezes Andre Mezin gets him down on his knees and as you mentioned a sharp angle but John Tavares is not going to be worried about that it looks like he's going to get caught by Denisov here he pushes that puck one more step forward freezes Mezin and gets it right upstairs lots of patience and good hands Mezin way out of his crease to challenge and any pump fake Leaves him in no man's land. And John Tavares, Jeff Skinner have been dangerous duo tonight. Tavares, who led the New York Islanders in scoring for the second play time when he arrives. And an excellent first round in the playoffs for the Buffalo Sabres. 
Navarra's up front with Spezza and Everly, who has one of the goals for Canada. There's the Nook off the crossbar, and they score. On the rebound, Jordan Everly tucks it home. What a blast by Fanouf. This is the Dion Fanouf that we saw in his early in his career in Calgary, where he could score from the blue line on one-timers under the bar. Andre Mazin with no chance, starts with a one face-off by Tavares. Little help by Jason Spezza, and then it's all up to Dion Fanouf. Jason Spezza, usually a centerman, smart enough to know to dig in there. Good pass from Scalzo over to Fanouf, and... Enough gets all this one through a little traffic right up under the bar. I think the first one goes in actually. I don't think Jordan Everly will get credit for this goal. I think Dion Fanuf so comes in and out so fast it's hard to tell. And maybe it is Jordan Everly. Either way, quick power play goal for Team Canada.